Okay, we are recording. Um, super excited for this team call, guys. Launches are some of the best moments in our businesses. Whether you know it or not, um, it's going to be something special in your life. Uh, and even today, as I just finished this nutrition program I was doing, I sat and thought about all the programs that I've done and all those final moments when I finished them, however I finished them, whether it was strong or a poor show, uh, I thought about that finish. And so today is just the beginning of something new for all of us. So I'm super excited to talk about it tonight. Um, before we do that, why don't I open it up for recognition? I'll go. I'll go. Oh. Jinx. You go. Go ahead. No, you. I, I insist because I love you so okay. much. Um, I'll be quick. I have one and it's to my friend Clarissa Arthur, who is officially going Emerald. She should have gone Emerald last week, but through a glitch, it didn't work out. But it is here officially today. And I'm just so so proud of you. She's literally like so authentically shared her story, just ripped off the band-aid and just is flying. And at SC8, so one month down, and honestly, I just, I know that she's going to get the success starter and I cannot wait to see what program um, that you're going to be doing. Anyways, excited. So awesome. Um, I'll go Jessica Maloney is officially hitting Emerald tomorrow. We also had a little snag last week, um, but it's happening tomorrow and it's so great. Um, she just had surgery and so she's not able to work out. And so she's committed to sharing her journey in nutrition. And like, I'm just so excited about this. Um, I'm pumped that she's staying on target and still continuing to like put herself out there despite the fact that she can't work out. So amazing job. Um, another big, big, big one is Natasha Cardinal. I am like completely blown away. Um, she was one of those like, we'll see how it goes. Kind of, I'm just testing the waters. And then this week she's like, fuck it, I'm in. And she hit Essie and Emerald all this week. She just did it. She just like went for it. And I'm, I'm so blown away. It's amazing. Um, my sister, Ashley signed up her first working coach. It's her hubby and together they're like selling challenge packs and doing the thing. So I'm like really excited. She's been working super hard this week. So fun to see her doing this. Um, and Jen Higgins also, she has her first discount coach signed up, um, who is also her first client and she's brand new. And, uh, and I think she's, she's going to be Emerald tomorrow. So I'm super pumped. Congratulations guys. Wow, that's amazing. I'll go. Um, I literally feel like I could shout out every woman on my team because I feel like we have so much momentum and every day I'm like, woohoo! <laughs> Celebrating it was really hard actually to like pick out who I was going to call out, but I, my whole team is just killing it and I love that they're just so proactive. Like everybody is just doing it and owning their own business and it is super cool to see. But I did want to shout out um, my coach Carolyn, she has been sharing her very unique journey. I mean, I think most of us do this to um, lose weight and Carolyn is doing this actually to gain weight and gain muscle mass and really like improve her overall health, feel better. Yeah, she's on, she's on tonight, improve her energy. And she's totally been sharing her journey, her nine week control freak journey. And she finally shared like her final workout. It was super emotional. I, I was crying as I was watching it. And I just want to say it's so cool to watch you do it and, and hear your journey and hear what it's doing. And I love watching you like progress in your coaching as you're doing it. So keep going. Um, and then I have two success starters that hit um, this week. I'm so excited. So they're going to be in the test group together. Colleen Ryan and Yari Torres, absolutely just killing it. This was Colleen's final month to hit it. And she totally did it like just under the wire. And um, Yari did it with one month to go. So you guys, I'm so freaking proud of you. Just like amazing. And I know the rest of the team is going to follow in your footsteps. So amazing. I would love to go too. Massive congrats to Tracy, who is our newest coach, who locked in SC in a day. So today she hit SC. Super happy for you. She just signed on in SC. Bam. Something happening for her. I can't wait to see her grow and grow and grow. Welcome and congrats. I'll go next. I'd like to thank Wendy Lee I'd like to welcome my first working coach, Hannah Sullivan, to the Sisterhood, to Rise, um, and to my team, Thrive. 
It's our first team call tonight too. Hannah joined me for Control Freak back in December and watching her blossom throughout the program was just like the most beautiful thing to watch. Um, anyway, yeah, super happy to have you, Han. Um, she's one of my oldest and best friends, so I think there's no one better to kick this coaching journey off with, so super pumped. I'll go. Uh, I just want to shout out my coach, Tara, so it was only like last week or the week before I was just welcoming her to her first uh, team call and she hit success club in less than two weeks. She's already showing up in her stories, talking in her stories, posting her workouts, doing all the things that uh, she was so afraid to do like all of us were at the beginning. So I just wanted to give her a little shout out and also thank her because uh, I was in a bit of a post team cup slump and then she joined my team and this has given me a lot of momentum and excitement. So it's been really great. I'll go. Um, I want to shout out my coach, Sarah Bashara. Sarah has put her foot on the gas. Guys. She is showing up every day to the working hour. She has started her own community and like added me into it to kind of be a fly on the wall and her community is blowing up. And she sent me this week her um, launch plan for Let's Get Up and she has huge goals for this launch. So I'm so proud of you, Sarah. Keep killing it. I have a couple. Um, I just, I'm super proud of my team. Um, Lynn's, she was having a bit of a month this month and uh, she really wanted to hit SD. And two days ago she said, no, I'm doing this thing. And um, she hit, she's at SC4 now working on another one. Um, I believe that she's gonna be, she's gonna have SC this month, which is awesome. And um, Linda, she's been working on trying to find a, a discount coach and she recently signed up her first discount coach and uh, she's gonna sign up her boyfriend. So she's gonna be Emerald hopefully tomorrow. And uh, Andrea as well, she's on my team and she's hit SE2 and uh, she's on the board as well. So I'm just super proud of my whole team. Oh my God, I just kept wanting to interrupt, but I was like, there's so much momentum. Everybody has so much to say. It's so awesome. Um, I have to say, Renee is sporting the hoodie that we all wanted to get during Team Cup and their team is the only team that got it. Yeah, I see, I see. Um, so amazing. Uh, I wanted to do a big shout out to Lauren Knight. I don't know if she's on the call tonight, but Lauren is going Emerald tomorrow. She's worked so freaking hard for it. So massive congrats to you. Lauren, um, does anybody else have any recognition or shall we get this rolling? I got one. Does anyone else have one before? All right. I am so, so excited, guys. I got this text like an hour ago that said, I think I'm good with the diamond emoji. And I like went to the back office. And Rachel Lauer is brand new, diamond in the house. I am so freaking excited for you, Rachel. Uh, Rachel has only been coaching just over six months, maybe seven. She started in August and we just connected from IG. I didn't even really know she was following me. And when she um, decided to enroll into a program, she's like, I think I'm gonna try to coach too. And ever since she has just been like, steadily building this team, like steadily working towards this goal. She said she wanted to be diamond six months ago and she has been working towards it and she made it happen. So I'm so freaking excited for you. And I know Becky Lauer who went Emerald is a huge part of it and a huge part of your momentum. When you find someone that wants to run this business with you and, and helps you build that momentum and you guys start doing it together, that's, that's the magic. So super excited for you guys um, and to welcome you into our diamond community and all the things. So huge congrats to you, Rachel. Um, and yeah, I think if anybody else doesn't have anything, I will kick it off to Aaron to get this call rolling. 
All right, guys, I am super jazzed up to talk about this tonight because whether you know it or not yet, you have a massive opportunity in your business coming up. Um, launches are where this business is at. So what, no matter what program you're doing right now, no matter the trajectory of your personal journey, it's time to put your coach hat on and commit to doing this launch. And this call tonight is going to help you to identify how you're going to do that launch and what you like, how you want to make it work for yourself and your coach community. Um, I want you to really decide now your energy of approaching this launch um, because your energy is either going to sell this or make it a flop. I wrote in my post this week, your energy speaks before you do. And I wanted to say that to every single one of you. It wasn't for all the followers out there on the gram. It was for you guys. Because how you're approaching all of this, your coaching journey, your personal journey, how you're showing up on IG, how you're talking in your stories, what you're seeing in your posts, all of it, it all starts with your energy. So decide now the energy you're going to have to this about this program and start bringing that forward. I want to be super, super real with you guys. I don't really want to do this program. I didn't really want to when it first came out. When I was dancing, I was like, oh, no. When we first did the sample workout at the leadership, I was like, this is going to be so embarrassing. I felt the exact same way when 10 rounds came out and when Barb Blend came out. And I know, because Courtney and I went through the same thing, we talked about it, we're like, I don't wanna do this. Like, this is just gonna be me embarrassing myself on the gram. But 10 rounds came out just about the same time last year when I was feeling probably the worst I've ever felt in my career with my kids, everything, everybody at home, all of the juggling, I was overwhelmed central, crying literally every day. And I was like, I need something. I had no choice because I had my coach hat on, but to go all in on 10 rounds. And 10 rounds changed not only me, but my business. At the end of 10 rounds, I bawled my face off. I literally, I had so much emotion. I was bawling my face off because I'd gone all in on something and done something for myself. It completely changed my, who I am, my business, everything. You don't maybe always want to do the programs, but I guarantee you, you will get something out of every program, every single one. And this one, more than any of them, I know you guys have all been watching, um, those who are doing it. We have 35 women in the sisterhood who are testing it out. I know that you are watching somebody do it. I know that you're watching Shanti. You, you heard the women last week speak about it. You know that this can bring you joy and positivity and light and body positivity and all of that. You know that that can happen. Um, but you need to start believing it and you need to start bringing that energy to it. But maybe, just maybe you're like me and you're like, that's so easy to say, but I still don't want to dance on the gram. And I feel you because I don't either. And I want to be real in saying that like, I love watching Aaron do it, watching Aaron do it, watching Mar like Marianne, everybody, all of you guys are amazing. And I'm like, that is so awesome. But being silly, silly and out there and like letting my inhibitions go is not really who I am. And it doesn't really align with my brand. That's okay. That doesn't mean that I'm not going all in on this launch. It doesn't mean that I'm not going to put my coach hat on and help the people in my community who want that. <laughs> I'm serious though. There's a way that I'm going to do this without, with still aligning with who I am. So if that's you, if you're like me, put it in the chat. I know I'm not alone. I know I'm not alone in this, um, but I'm going to put my chat coach chat on. I am going to follow Shanti. I'm going to share Shanti's energy, joy, his dancing. I'm going to share everybody else's dancing. And then when it comes to me dancing, if I'm not feeling it, I'm going to talk to my screen and be like, yo, the, my dancing is for my eyes only. And that's okay. Look at the smile on my face. I just killed it. I have so much joy. You don't need to share all the moves to do this program. 
So I want you to be super real with yourself and whatever's holding you back from going all in on this program and like put that at the door because we all need this program and the people in your community, both your current community, your prospects, they all need it too. So it's time to put that coach chat on and go for it. If you are feeling drained, like kind of disattached, unmotivated, like your momentum is going like this, you're not really feeling the things in your business right now, this launch can change that. This launch, every launch has the opportunity to completely bring momentum back to your business, to completely change things and totally pivot your business. But it has to come from here. You have to believe it. You have to have the energy for it and you have to go all in on it. All right. This launch can rank advance your business and can totally change the trajectory of your business. It will if you want it to. I mean that it will if you want it to and if you're going to do the work. So we're excited. Okay. So, um, that's what I wanted to say. If you are feeling the way I felt about that with your inhibitions and all that, like, don't feel, don't feel shame about it. Reach out to me. I'm happy to talk about it, but like, we're putting that out of the door. We are bad ass business women in this community. And we're going to treat this launch like a business. All right. I'm going to pass it off to Milan. She's got some wicked tips. Thanks, Erin. Um, I'm laughing so hard because I am waiting for day 30 and you're going to show us your silly dance videos. I'm calling it now. <laughs> um, yeah, you guys, you know, I'll echo what Erin said that like, this is an opportunity to, if you're not like, if you're just feeling like you're, you know, it's not for you, it's an opportunity to put your coach hat on. I did this with Bar Blend. Um, when I started Bar Blend, I had just come off uh, I think I was doing the work, which ironically I'm doing now, you know, so talk about like differences in program and like the work is my jam, bar blend is not my jam, but I did it. I really wasn't into it, but I always every day did have something positive, like genuinely positive to say about it. Um, and so I feel like I was able to do it in a genuine way without like going crazy over the top. And I would say things like, this program is perfect for the woman who. This program is great for somebody if you are. And, you know, so there's a difference between doing it for you and your journey and then doing it as a coach that is sharing it for people in your life that maybe aren't 100% exactly like you. Um, it turned out Bar Blend was one of my biggest launches because I had tons of people in my life that needed it. Um, and that still do need it. It really propelled my business. I think I rank advanced to diamond with uh, Bar Blend. And I had, I hit SC44 the month that uh, Bar Blend came out. And you know what it's done now? It's made me more of a subject matter expert because now I know the program inside and out. And so when women come to me literally daily and say, my knees are really sore. I can't jump. Hit doesn't work for me, which is all they see me doing. Um, they're like, these programs won't work for me. I'm like, well, you can just do bar blend. Uh, it's perfect. And then I actually have the experience to back it up. So, you know, especially if you're like a newer coach, doing these programs helps you really learn all of the programs and become that expert that your clients down the road are going to need because you're going to be able to talk from experience about all of these different programs, even though they're not your jam. Like be as knowledgeable as you possibly can be so that you can be as helpful as possible. But I'm going to talk about some tactics because that's where um, I think my strong suit is. So I think I've got like 13 or 14 like really specific things. So maybe like get your pencils out. You, you might not want to do all of these. I would say if you do all of these during the launch, you're going to kill it. If you're like, that's crazy. I'm going to pick five of these to do and implement these like you will do excellent. Um, but these are all things in the past that I've done for other launches and that have always served me really well. So the first thing I'll talk about is like Instagram tactics, let's say, um, at the launch. And um, I would highly suggest that everybody here consider doing a VIP group. I think all of us are going to talk about this a little bit in different tactics. So um, next month, the program launches to coaches no, you don't have to take a shower, buddy. We'll do one tomorrow. 
I will later, okay? Give me give me twenty minutes. Um, it's in the backpack, Isabel's dance backpack. Sorry, guys. So, um, okay, these are IG tactics. And where was I? If you're going to do a do it, I would do a VIP launch. Um, really, from like a business standpoint, this is where you can rank advance because the, um, the coach exclusive window is there and it's only going to be available to coaches. It's also a great, a great way to bring your discount coaches back up to active, et cetera, et cetera. But before the launch, like you're not going to have your own videos to share, right? We don't have access to this program. So leverage what you do have. Like um, Aaron mentioned, we have 35 coaches in the sisterhood. Like make sure you're following them. Jacob, I really need like 20 minutes. Buddy. I can't, honey. Um, so make sure you're following those coaches and like, we can't expect them to tag everybody in the sisterhood though. So just like screen record, I'm pretty sure every single coach that's doing that, uh, program is comfortable with everybody doing a screen record and resharing their stuff. Like, and honestly, I wouldn't even message them to be like, can I do this? Like, let's just assume that every coach that's doing it, that's doing it is okay with it. So, um, screen record them and share it. And like, even if you don't know them, we're all part of the same community. Just say, this is a coach in my community. She's doing this exclusive test program. Like this makes me want to puke or this makes me so excited. Like whatever it actually makes you feel like leverage that. Um, I would also, you know, that's, that's one tip that I have. I would also do something like try size or try country heat. Like Beachbody does have dance programs. Um, try hip hop abs. That's a Shanti program. Like try some of these things over the next couple of weeks, maybe like one a week you decide that you're going to do and share that. You don't necessarily say like, this isn't the program that I'm doing, but you'd be like, all right, I'm getting like ready for this program. And here's something that I'm going to try. Um, so then it gives, it gives like a little flavor to try it. The other tip I will give you, and I did this, um, the other day is, and, and this was completely genuine. Like I actually wasn't following Shanti prior to this and another coach had shared his stuff. And so I went on his page and I full on went down this rabbit hole for like an hour of watching his reels, watching his stories. He had like this really adorable story with um, him and his son, like doing some dancing. And so I invited all of my challengers to follow him. And I genuinely was like, you guys, like I can't, I don't have anything to share really about me doing this program, but what I can do is ask you to follow Shanti, because if you want to be happy, if you want to feel energy, if you want to feel positivity, like he will bring it to you. I just spent an hour down the rabbit hole and I had people messaging me like, oh my God, I'm following him now. Like I also just spent an hour. So you Shanti as like your marketing vehicle, he's incredible. And I think he's so, you know, he's even said like this program, I'm able to like fully be myself. And you can really just see that and feel that. And, and I just think his energy is amazing. So like leverage it, have, get all your people to follow him. Um, reshare his stuff. Like I reshare his reels all the time. Um, the other thing would be to create a highlight, you know, like the little highlight bubbles on your profile. We have them for like client wins. We have them for nutrition. We have them for workouts, whatever. Create a highlight reel. And every time in your stories, you're talking about let's get up, just pop it in your highlight reel. I have mine. Um, like if you go to my Instagram page, uh, everything is like orange and yellows and all my bubbles are orange and yellow to like be within brand. But my highlight reel for this one is called joy. And it's kind of like this technicolor background. And it's this really awkward picture of me as a 12 year old in like my dance, like really awful dance outfit, you know, but like it stands out and it's kind of funny. My hope is that somebody were to see it be like, what in the world? And like click on it. And every time I'm talking about it in my story, I'm putting it in there. So then what I can do when I have my existing customers or new customers that are like, what is this about? And I really haven't like, you know, created my landing page or like, I don't have my marketing material. I can be like, just go click my bubble, um, my joy bubble, and you'll see what this is about. And it gives them like a snippet of it. And I would just continue to do that throughout the course of the program. Um, create a countdown. It's like no brainer, create a countdown whenever you're doing your group and anytime you're talking about, 
um, the program, like 15 more days, 14 more days, and people will save your countdown. It just helps bring like some excitement to it. Um, and then the other thing I'll say is to find your message. Like what, really think about what is this program to you? Is it a dance program? If you're a dancer, it might be. This might be like, I haven't, you know, I was a professional dancer. I was a dancer in high school. This is an opportunity for me to get back to dance. That is certainly not my message. If this is a program for you to find your joy and your happiness and invite other people to do it because COVID has sucked over the last year and we all need a little joy and happiness in your life, then that's what it is. If it's about getting results, then that's what your message is. Is it about, for me, what I'm going with is like a mixture of like joy, happiness, and like, let's just be motivated every single morning to like jump out of bed and do this program. And Shanti talks a lot about that on our team call. That's what he talked. And that's what really resonated with me. And I think that's what's going to resonate with my people because everybody's feeling that kind of like lull right now. Like I'm really struggling to like get out of bed and do this. But I would say, like, find your message. Like, don't go out with this is a dance program message. If that doesn't excite you, it doesn't need to be a dance program. What's going to resonate with you and be consistent with that message? Um, and then what I'll say is, at, like, after, so let's say, like, you do all of your, uh, you know, pre-marketing, pre-promotion, you do your groups, you've gone through and you've done the full program and kind of, like, fast-forwarding right now, but do a program review on IGTV um, and a genuine one. I did this for Barb Len and it went over really well. And I, you know, said to people, like, this isn't my program. I, it wasn't enough for me. I prefer more heavy lifting, blah, blah, blah. But here's who it would be really good for and in my life. And so I listed all of those things. And I genuinely listed what I felt were pros and cons. Like, obviously, I lean towards more of the positive stuff because if it's, if it's just genuinely not for you, then it's not going to be for you. But I still have that IGTV sitting in my Instagram page. So when people ask me about Barb Land, like I can send them to there and I say, well, here's my full, like, you know, five minute review of the program. Have a look. Um, so that's kind of like my Instagram tactics, let's say, like leading up to your VIP launch. And then it can also be leading up to your client launch. I think um, Courtney is going to talk a little bit about like strategies to make your VIP launch really exclusive and exciting. Um, but I would also say to create your bod group now, like, get that bod group live like today multitask while you're on this call whatever it takes five minutes to get your bod group live because what that's going to do is when any of your existing clients or your website referrals go to your page they're going to see that bod group i have mine um it's like a picture of them dancing in hawaii which is just like that's such an attractive picture and it's called find your joy vip group um, and I've had uh, like already five or six of my existing clients that have asked to join it and I haven't even talked to them about it, but when they go to their bod groups homepage, they see it there. So if you don't already have that scheduled and live, you're missing out on like literally free marketing and free promotion. Um, in my bod group, so I literally have nothing in the bod group. I just have one post that says. <laughs> Hold on, Jacob. I have um, one post that's like, hey, we're going to get started in whatever days. Like, in the meantime, follow Shanti. Like, that's what my message is in the bod group because, like, fa like fall in love with it, get excited. Um, and then, as people are telling me, hey, I want to do this, I want to do the VIP group, I'm adding them to it. And soon I'll start adding a little bit of content. They can't buy until the 19th, but I want people to feel engaged, feel invested, start connecting with each other, get excited about it so that on the 19th, they're ready, they're committed. It's like, it's a non-issue, you know, I'm not stressed out about like, are they going to buy or are they not? Like they're already in, they're in the group and they're going to do it. Um, my other tip is to connect with all of your existing clients. Now, if you're a brand new coach, um, like this won't be as helpful for you, but if you've been coaching for a while and you have existing clients, now's the time to connect with all of them. Just touch base and see how they're doing. Um, I've been doing this more intentionally over the last week and a half, and it's been a really simple message, like, hey, how are you? It's been a while, like, how have you been? It has really, my question has nothing to do with health and fitness or the groups or the programs, but what it's doing is opening a conversation for people 
either, you know, honestly, a lot of people are being like, I'm having a really hard time. And so it's opening that conversation and I'm not getting mega deep because I'm not a therapist, but I'm keeping connected with those people. And at least I have a pulse on how they're doing. And then eventually as we get closer to the launch, when I start talking to them about like, Hey, I know you're having a hard time. Do you think this is something that would help you? Like I'm doing this group. It's focused all around positivity. I feel like this could be something that's really great for you. And that's a genuine, like I genuinely think that this program is going to help a lot of people and, you know, kind of the, the layer of like sadness that's happening right now in the world. But those connections need to happen now so that it doesn't come across icky when you message them the weekend before and ask like, do they want to join this? group right or this program um also your existing client base is an incredible base for discount coaches because they're already in the programs you know hopefully they've tried the products you've sent them samples they probably love something you know they might feel like it's a little bit too expensive um but this is an opportunity to get those people upgraded to a discount coach account and it takes a lot less work in my opinion to get an existing um client to a discount coach than like right from the get-go um, they're really the best prospects to do this. And when I went diamond, a lot, like a big reason that I did it is because I upgraded a lot of my existing clients to uh, discount coaches, especially people that are it, like in renewal, like in the next month or two, if they need to renew, it's a, it's a complete no brainer, um, especially with the prices of these packages. Um, <clears throat> my next tip is to do something special in your VIP group. Uh, I'm going to give away a hundred dollar Lululemon gift card. That, that might be, that might be like not possible for you. Uh, maybe you want to do like, I'm giving away an extra set of the containers or a fixate cookbook, or I don't know, some fun, like Shanti t-shirt, like something just to make it that extra layer of special. What I want people to feel when they're in my VIP group is that it's unique, it's different, it's exclusive, it's before everybody else, but that window ultimately is only two weeks, so I'm trying to make it like as special as possible, um, so that's what I'm doing, but think like this is where you can be a little bit creative and think about um, something to do here, and then my last two tips are truly to partner up. I find, you know, as a coach, like Sophie and I partnered up really early on and like throughout the course of our business, it's helped. But with launches, it helps especially because you're two people bringing your energy into the group and you're balancing the workload and figuring out how to do this. So I would say partner up, like find somebody that is around the same like tenure as you are has the same goals if you're aiming for emerald or you're aiming for diamond like this is the time to partner up with somebody um either in your community like if you're one of my coaches like i'm happy to match you up if that doesn't work like don't be shy to go out you know if you're like one of erica's coaches and one of aaron's coaches like match up it really doesn't need to be um like kind of within your circle it's ultimately like who you connect with and who you're going to jive with but i really would recommend that you partner up to do this it's just a lot more fun too um and aaron mentioned this but my last tip is really truly like your energy is going to dictate your success you know like and i don't like i think you need to be genuine about it like if your energy is not like somebody that has energy up here you know don't like fake it and be like a crazy person but be aware because I think especially now, like if you're sort of feeling a bit of the COVID slump, like just be a little bit more self-aware about what that energy looks like on screen and, and on Instagram, um, especially as you're talking about like a new program, a VIP launch. These are, these are supposed to be like exciting, fun, energetic things. And you're trying to, to make people have a certain feeling. So your energy is going to dictate that. Like I can tell you, Hey guys, I was just on the Shanti page and he has some really great reels. You should check him out. Or I can say, Oh my God, I just spent an hour going down the rabbit hole because Shanti is like this beautiful human. And I didn't know all of these things about him. You need to check him out. Like there's a huge difference in how I invite you to do that, but it took very little effort on my end. It was like, you know, I amped up my energy, like, 
So just something to be aware of as you're talking about um, the launch and inviting people to do this with you. So that's what I have. I haven't checked the comments or anything, but if there are some, I can answer them or Courtney, I'll hand it over to you. Cool. Yeah. Um, actually, my therapist said today that your voice is the only genuine indicator of your true emotions. And so it's funny that you would give that example for people on this call that maybe don't talk to their Instagram, you know, aren't communicate, aren't using video in their feed or anything like that. How do you expect someone on the other side to really get an understanding of what you actually feel? If you're just throwing up like slides, let's get up, join me here. Like there's no emotion connected to that. So I love, I love that final point. Um, Okay, so I am just going to talk about like what we're actually going to do because I know that there's also a ton of new coaches and maybe this is even your first launch. The very first thing we're going to do is feel good about the invitations that we're going to send. And so much of what Aaron and Milin said is having you think about what you, what your intentions are, what your energy is going into this. Get in a good freaking headspace. We still have 12 days. You are so ahead of the game right now. I wouldn't even be blasting on your Instagram yet. Like we still have so much time, right? And so what I want to show you now, this sort of system that we're going to implement is that the next 12 days, can be behind the scenes. The next 12 days can have you making your customers or your prospects feel super special with a private invitation in the background. So number one, we're going to feel really good about what we're actually sending to people because you know what feels really, really good? When you enroll someone with like a solution-based conversation. So they're telling you how they feel, they're telling you what their problems are, and you're actually like, you know what, I feel like this would be good for you. And I think that the Shanti program is going to hit home for a lot of people's struggles right now, and it's going to be a solution in their life. As we've seen with all the women who said they didn't want to dance and are now smiling their asses off on Instagram. So let's believe in the solution before we walk into anything, and then let's get our plan straight because not everybody's plan is going to be the same. Are you doing a VIP group or are you going to launch this on May 3rd with the client launch, right? Why should you do a VIP group? Well, if you're trying to rank advance, if you're trying to engage your existing customers, like re-engage them, one of the most powerful things that we did was when we sort of went to the sisterhood and like we did a live and we talked about um, being a member of this community not just enrolling once and then canceling your shakes, like being a member in this community really means being a discount coach, like following the programs and, and doing the launches together is what being a member really is. So if your current customer base is not engaged in what you're doing, this is an incredible opportunity for you to do the VIP launch and be like, it launches on the 19th. Like I want to test this program out starting the 20th. Would you would you want to join us? Something super small, super private. Before you start blasting on Instagram, flatter the people in your community, flatter your customers, flatter your prospects with this personal invitation. If you want to rank advance, this is a golden ticket to do that. If maybe you just started a program and it's your first group and it ends at the end of April and you just want to do it with the customer launch, cool. You got to figure out what works for you, what works for your business and roll with it. But before we send anything, we're feeling good about it and we have our plan. So sit down, make your plan. And like me, Lynn said, partner up if you need to figure out your plan. You still have time. And then maybe like in one day or two days, we're going to start to execute the plan. So on April 11th, the sample workout comes out before April 11th. You're going to open your group, whether that's on Bob groups or on Facebook, Facebook, or whether that's an info group. I know some people like to run info groups, which is usually just a Facebook group that's free where you throw all your prospects in and you just talk about the program and hype it up. So there's different ways to do this. And you're going to have already decided this in your plan before the 11th, you're going to open your group and you're going to connect with all of your customers and your prospects with a make their day message. So you're not going to ask them to join your Let's Get Up group. 
you're going to just check out their page, ask them how they're doing, make their day with an encouraging message or, or whatever. You're just going to connect with them so that when we lead into inviting them to this group, it feels authentic. It also feels solution-based because they might have told you what's going on in their life. They might be struggling with that COVID slump. And then this is going to feel a lot more genuine when you're like, honestly, I feel like this would be amazing for us. Would you want to do this with me? That's going to feel really authentic because last week you just talked to them about what they were going through, et cetera, right? So before the 11th, we're opening our group. We're connecting with all of our prospects and customers. And a big part of that, with which is something I always do for every launch, is printing my client list. So I don't care if you have 10 clients or if you have 500 or 17,000. I know Kim's on the call, but you're printing your list and you're going to go through the freaking list. I usually omit the customer program people on my list and I focus solely on the women that have so signed up through me. And then once I get through my through me list, I can move on to my customer program, maybe send an email to them all or something like that. But focus on the women that have joined you, that have said yes to you in the past, that look to you to move their business, to move their sorry, health and wellness goals forward because they're still there. And they might be feeling like a loser for not following through on that last program or whatever, last group. And this is a real opportunity. So connect with them, print your list, start to engage with your clients and your prospects. Number two, it's April 11th. This sample workout is here. We are going to send the sample workout to everybody that we have highlighted that we think is a prospect that we want in our let's get up group. You're going to send them that you're already going to have your message thought out. You're going to say, Hey, Oh my gosh, the sample workout is here. I wanted to send it or, or you know what? I, I've done this a couple of ways. Sometimes it's like, um, the sample workout just launched. Do you want to try it? Or can I send it to you? And then if they say yes, send it to them. One thing I really love to do is create the follow-up. So ask them when they're going to try it. When, when do you think you're going to try it? Are you going to try it tomorrow morning? Or do you want to wait till the weekend? We do a live uh, Zoom. Like when do you want to try it? So that you now have a follow-up date. And this is now a really great opportunity for you to be the coach you said that you're going to be and follow up on that date. So it's super important that you have a system for a launch. For me, I usually use Excel. Um, once I, you know, I'll have my printed list and then once I connect with someone and I think that they might be a prospect, I highlight them, I put them on my Excel and then I start to go through that system, right? My follow-up system and just making sure that I've checked in with them. I might have a like sample video sent and I can go through and say, yes, follow up, um, invite and then whatever, share a card. So, and we'll get to that part later, but, um, so it's April 11th. We sent our sample workout, the invitation, and this is still guys, in my opinion, and everyone will do this different, but this is still before the public blast. This is still a personal invitation to someone, especially if you're doing a VIP group, that's going to flatter them because you haven't done the 17 polls and the, all the things yet on Instagram, right? You're just doing this in the background and you're creating those relationships and trying to help them with their wellness journey in the background. Um, it really, really works because honestly, let's get honest, like asking someone who wants to join and putting up the poll, it's not really effective. I honestly think it's more for optics and just allowing people to see that there's something to join, but with a launch and with this VIP opportunity, I think the move is really to do it in the back end. What you're doing in your stories and in your highlight reel, which I love that tip. I created one while Milan was talking highlight reel. There's nothing in it. Don't go look now, but is to share Shanti stuff do the screen records, like all those tips that Milen gave you, that's what's on your Instagram. Not that let's join me. We start here. No, that's in the background. And all the beautiful shares is in the forefront so that they can start to see what the program is. And then it's like, Oh, she invited me to join. Oh, I, now I know when it starts. Cause she just sent me that message. Um, I think that that's a really, really important part. Follow through on that follow up, be accountable. That's a, that's a big part of this, right guys? If, if you say, when are you going to do that workout? And she's like, I think I'm going to do it Friday. And then you follow up on Friday and she's like, I didn't do the workout and be like, see, I, you need this accountability group. Honestly, it's the reason I show up. Okay. When are you going to do it next? Are you going to do it? Like do it tomorrow morning. I'm going to do it tomorrow morning too. Do you want to do it together? Right? So be their coach in this process. Um, okay. Number three. Um, so the first is what we're going to do before 11th. 
Second is on April, or April 11th uh, with the sample. Um, and then number three I wrote is creating FOMO. So it's like, what's setting you apart from the other groups? And Milan kind of already touched on this. Like Erin and I had a thought like of maybe doing a tie dye party, like on Zoom the week before. And we all did like a tank, a white, got a white tank top and did that or something like, have something that is like special about your group. Would you want to join your group? You know, even Erin and I, like it's been such a big conversation for us in the past couple of weeks of trying to do different things in our community and make it special um, and add value, you know? I think that that's something that Kim does incredibly well is add value and really be like a servant leader. It's so easy to get caught up in our coach journeys of just doing the things and hosting the groups instead of really thinking about like what would add value in someone's life right now. So um, maybe that's something that you can think about that would be unique to you. And then number four guys is just build your wait list. The goal for all of us should be that on April 18th at night, we have our list. Sarah Smith um, wants the digital upgrade. Here's her email. I'm sending it to her. Milin wants the Shakeology completion pack. Vanilla, here's her email. I'm sending it to her. If you have multiple business centers, it says what business center it's in so that you know when you go to do all your share cards. Like, it's the best feeling on a launch day to have a list of freaking share cards to send out. And when someone, when I get to the point in the conversation where I'm asking them for the details and I'm getting their commitment with their share card information, then I add them right into the group. They're in. It's almost like I'm like peer pressuring them to follow through, like doing it. Like we are doing this together. They're already in the group. I'm already acting as if they've purchased. And then on launch day, they, they purchase. Like this is a really successful process. I usually have like 90% purchase rate on this because they've already committed their in and they feel a part of the group that you are about to do. Um, that, that's kind of it guys. Um, have a plan. Let's execute the plan and make it a successful launch. They're super, super exciting. And you know, like I, I like to dance and I still thought like, Oh no, when this came out, but I've really changed my tune. Um, a, because I know how to put on my coach hat, but B from watching these ladies, um, do the test group. Like I'm really excited. So uh, this weekend, I think we are all going to do a Zoom on Saturday. I know for me, I'm definitely going to try size or something like that. Um, uh, yeah. So Brianne's asking, can you mention why you're starting on April 20th instead of waiting until the 26th? I think just because the uh, the coach window is small. Sometimes there's like a month coach window and there's not that with this. So to sort of make that coach window feel worth it, um, they're starting right away. The other thing that you could do is you could start on launch day and be like launch day. We're doing the sample workout and then the 20th we're going into day one, right? So that it's like a big celebration on launch day. Um, yeah. I'm just looking through the chat. I think that's it guys. Well, there's no need to, um, to drag it on longer than we need to. Erin, did you want to add anything? No, just that like now is your chance to, we, like Courtney said a million times, you have the time. So take time today, tonight after the call, tomorrow, to get your calendar out, map out what you want to do. When are you going to start your group? Open your God group and then start hyping it up. This is like awesome opportunity to totally change your business to totally like pivot and do something amazing. You just have to plan it out. I feel always more like the more prepared I am, the more of a plan I have, the easier it is for me to invite because I know exactly what I'm inviting to. So get clear on what you're doing. Um, maybe we could even do a post in the sisterhood coach group saying like, does anybody want to partner up? Like if there's any of you who are looking for partners and you want to partner up with anybody, like we can do that in the coach group to set you guys up. Um, Now's, now's our time to shine. I'm super pumped. All right, guys. And for any of the details, guys, go to the FAQ. Google, let's get up Beachbody FAQ, and all the details are there um, for resources. Oh, and the landing page. We did create a landing page with pricing and everything. Erin will post it uh, tonight, um, and you can grab and copy the info or use it, whatever you want. 
All right, guys, let's get up. Have a great night.